Jimmy Toga here with another product review slash how-to video for HobbyFanatic.com. Today we're taking a look at LED replacements for these, the T8 fluorescent tube. Now, LED replacements for these have been around for a while, but they've been very expensive up until now. Recently they've fallen down more into that $30 to $60 category, and this particular tube I was able to pick up from USA LEDs that's USA-LEDS.com on sale for $23.99 so I picked up a pair of them, $10 shipping somewhere in that range. Um, so we're going to take a look at this bulb but first it's important to note that every LED product that I reviewed up until now has been pretty much a drop-in replacement. Fluorescent tubes aren't. Um, the fluorescent fixtures have a ballast, maybe a starter Basically, the power supply for the tubes is in the fixture. LED tubes don't need that, so there's a little bit of modification required. It's pretty simple, but if you're not familiar or comfortable with basic electrical work, you might want to have an electrician come out and do that work for you. Okay? So let's take a look at how to do this. Okay, so let's take a look at how to change these out. Now, the most important thing to do is to check your instructions um, and to show how these are wired. This is especially important because some tubes require neutral and power on one side, and th but this particular tube requires neutral on one end and power on the other. So check your instructions so you know how. It's fairly simple in this case. So let's just take this apart. Okay, now we're wiring these in parallel, so I'm going to cut this set of wires off the ballast and this pair of wires off the ballast, and we'll wire them straight into neutral and positive here. Okay, I'm a little short here, so I need to get a little bit more wire. Okay, and that's it. Now, install our bulbs. That's it. 
Okay, all done. That took maybe five minutes. <clears throat> now let's plug it in and make sure everything is working properly. There it is. Not bad, just that simple. Okay, now let's take a look at these bulbs and compare them to some fluorescence. Okay, so let's take, do a little bit of comparison um, with these bulbs. Now, these bulbs are rated at 20 watts each, uh, about 1800 lumens per bulb, um, and 4200 Kelvin. Now, these come in three different uh, temperatures. They have a warm white, which I think is around 3000K, this one that's like 4200K, and they have a, a cool white, which is rated at 6500K. All right? Now, these Sylvania bulbs right here, these are Sylvania fluorescent tubes, they're rated at 40 watts each. Now I think that changes a little bit with temperature uh, as these warm bulbs warm up. But right now, these pa this pair of bulbs is reading 35 watts on my watt meter. Okay? Now, by comparison, the LEDs are reading about the same, 33 watts. So, um, power saving wise, there's not as substantial a savings with this type of bulb uh, as there is, is compared to say an incandescent. Um, so power, power wise, not a, a real compelling number here. However, uh, just I gotta say visually just looking at these bulbs, they seem quite a bit brighter. Um, it's, it's a fairly warm, fairly nice warm light. You can kind of see it's kind of hard with the white balance of the camera, but they're fairly bright and fairly warm. Now, these are a little more directional than the fluorescent tubes. Okay. But you can see they have, you know, they're obviously, they're circular, so they spread light all around in all directions. A little bit more directional, but, but I'd say very, very bright. <clears throat> so for me, really the most compelling reason to upgrade to these LED bulbs is not for the energy savings. I would say it's primarily because of all the stuff that we took out of that uh, fixture. We took out the ballast. If there was a starter, we took that out. And for uh, to me, I've never had great luck with fluorescent tubes. These things are rated at 12,000 hours, but I'm constantly replacing these. They go dim, they start flickering, and they drive me crazy. So I'm really looking for the LED bulb, not so much for its power efficiency, as for its long-term reliability. These bulbs are rated at 50,000 hours, so you're basically talking about a lifetime, a lifetime bulb, assuming they never go out. Okay? Uh, one last note on these bulbs. Let's take a real close look at them. I just wanted to give you a quick close-up view on these bulbs. Uh, the build quality on them seems very good. Uh, the bulbs are very solid feeling. This is a plastic cover, but it's a nice thick pl plastic cover. Much more durable, I would say, than a standard fluorescent tube. You can see the surface mount LEDs, uh, fairly large heat sink here on the back, uh, aluminum power supplies presumably behind the LEDs. Okay, uh, really nice build quality. Um, they look to be pretty durable. All right, Hobby Fanatic fans, uh, if you're into LED technology, you might be installing these in your garage or workplace, uh, work shed, what have you. All right. Thanks a lot.